friends, Naturally Rhonda here. For all my old time subscribers, I love you, love you so much. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, please stay a while. Check out some of my other content. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. Okay, so in today's video, I'm doing a wash and go. It's been a minute since I've done a wash and go, and it's been even longer since I've used these products. My last wash and go was maybe two months or so ago. And the last time I used this gel has been gotta be over 10 months ago. So my question is, do I still love Wetline Extreme Gel? I don't know, we shall see. This gel right here was day for a minute. I just was in love with this gel. So the basis of today's video is to just see, do I still feel the same way? I'm going to use Paul Mitchell's The Conditioner as my leave-in. These two will be my wash and go combo. Let's just get right into the video. My hair has already been shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. This is the first section that I'm starting with. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. Y'all know I love to apply my products to wet hair. I'm gonna go in with some of this leave-in a generous amount of leave-in. All right, so this is my hair with just the leave-in. Now I subsection to go in with the gel. So far, so good. It's really weighing my hair down the way I remember. And now I'm just gonna do some really light shingling. I say light shingling because I'm not quite sure if my sections are as small as they are supposed to be for shingling. So, so far, so good. All right, I'm gonna take another subsection. I'm just gonna wet my hair a little bit more. Remember the leave-in is already on this whole big section. So now the subsections just need the gel. I'm getting the gel all over and now separate. All right, so this is what my first section is looking like. I'm just gonna keep trucking along and I will be back when the product is all in. So all the product is in and this is what my hair is looking like wet. Normally, I would sit under my hooded dryer for about an mm, hour and a half, two hours or so. But honestly, I just don't have time for that today. So I'm going to air dry my hair, but I'm going to document the whole process throughout the day. Right now, it is 8.43 in the morning. Hopefully, pray for me, y'all. Hopefully this does not take forever. <laughs> okay, so the time is now 12 noon and this is what my hair is looking like. So 
So the ends are pretty dry, but the hair shaft and the roots are still very wet. So the time is now three o'clock, hair check. This is what I'm looking like. So my ends, the, mm, I'd say most of the hair shaft are dry. Hair shaft is dry-ish, <laughs> but the roots are definitely still wet. All right, so now it is six o'clock and this is what my hair is looking like. My roots are still wet. <laughs> my hair is finally completely dried. I wanna say it wasn't until midday the following day that my roots and everything was completely dry. And these are my finished results. Like I said, I haven't done a wash and go in a few months and I haven't used wet lime in almost a year. To answer that question, do I still love wet lime? Is water wet? Well, actually, that's a legit debate. Some people say that water isn't wet because things that are in it are wet. And then other people say, well, obviously water is wet because it's water. But um, that's neither here nor there. Back to the topic at hand. I do still love wet line. I'm going to continue to use wet line more and more because I fell back in love with wet line. And this time, I think because of the leave-in that I used, I didn't have as much of a crunch. And maybe because I also air dried opposed to using my hooded dryer, but I didn't even scrunch at all. This is just my hair. It still has a bit of a crunch to it, like a light cast, but it's not bothering me. It's hold, you know? I'm very excited and super pleased with the way my hair came out this time. So that's about it for this Wash and Go Wednesday video. This is the moment in the video where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like, two more of my favorite wet line videos. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.